Hello there, I'm Edgar Wright and you're watching Trailers From Hell and today we're going to look at a George A. Romero film but not just any George A. Romero film, one of George Romero's zombie films not just any George A. Romero zombie films, one from his original trilogy not just any one from the original trilogy, let's look at the third one, Day of the Dead First, he created the most frightening film ever made here we go with the original and classic trilogy of George A. Romero's zombie films, Night, Dawn and Day. Now, I gotta say that Day is probably my least favourite of the three. Only because, like, uh, Dawn is absolutely my favourite zombie film of all time, and Night of the Living Dead is obviously very uh, seminal. Day of the Dead, though, however, has several things about it which um, not only... I, I, I think probably just some of the best things ever in zombie films, I still kind of feel even with the advances in the technology, that the makeup in Day of the Dead is probably the best zombie makeup of all time. And what was interesting about the time that this came out is I think sort of briefly, like, Day of the Dead recaptured the, um, the grimness of, like, the zombie genre because kind of zombie films have started to get a bit campy. You'd had zombies fighting sharks in, uh, in Lucio Fiosi's films. You'd had Thriller. Um, and released at the same time you had Return of the Living Dead which is um, a much more comic take on the genre and you know weirdly even though I made a horror comedy I'm kind of so crazy about that one but Day of the Dead I really like for its unremitting grimness and the thing that's amazing about Day of the Dead is the last reel is the best of any zombie film like the effects in the last reel I still think as far as prosthetics go very nice good red band trailer this the effects in the last reel are some of the best um, prosthetic effects of all time and uh, they still stand up, they look incredible and, uh, you know, and, and rightly famous. Uh, Joe Pilato's death is incredible. This gag is great. Apparently I heard that Greg Matola, the director of Superbad, worked on this film in the art department and is one of those hands. The other thing you have to give Day of the Dead props for is it has the best ever zombie performance. Howard Sherman as Bub is incredible. 